Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to take a look at installing OpenWRT on x86 hardware. Alright, so this is the x86 hardware which I'm planning on using. At the moment it's configured as a NAS, it's running Zigma NAS. All the data is on these two drives in RAID 1 and there's a third spare there but we're not going to be using those. We've got this 750 watt power supply which I think is a bit overkill. Here we've got our Intel CT desktop gigabit adapter as well as our onboard ethernet adapter which we'll need we've got a 4 gig stick of memory we're running on the MSI H81M-E33 board and underneath here there's an Intel Pentium G and I forget the rest I'm sure we'll find out soon enough alright so we're gonna need some software so I'm just gonna click the go here link and we're not quite on version 19 at the moment, so 18.06.4 is the latest release. Let's hit targets and find x86, which is right at the bottom. We're going to choose 6.4. And we are going to choose the combined squash FS. Uh, with this one, we won't be able to resize the partition, but to be honest, I'm not really bothered. I just want the software. So that's going to download, there it is. Right click on that, using 7-zip to extract it. It's extracted to this folder and we've got an image file there. Now we need to write that image file to a disk. So I'm going to just find an adapter. I know I've got one somewhere and I'm going to write it to this 160 gigabyte, um, two and a half inch disk drive from 2010. So this is really old and pretty terrible. So two things have gone on here. I couldn't find my USB to SATA adapter so I've just plugged it into my PC as a dirty hack just there and it's also a different drive. This is a 320 gig drive. The 160 gig one did not power up for some reason. Alright so I've booted the PC back up. This is the disk here. I've just called it OpenWRT and I've just formatted it just because. I've got my Win32 disk imager here so let's find the image file that we downloaded earlier. Having trouble choosing a device for some reason. Right, so I think I flashed my drive using Bellina Etcher in unsafe mode. Don't really recommend doing that, but I think it's ready to be plugged in, so let's give it a test. Here's the flashed hard disk drive, which we've plugged into with the red SATA cable into the SATA port one. We've got SATA power plugged in here. We've got the VGA so we can see the monitor and I need to pull out this as this is the Sigma NAS OS. We no longer need that. Let's give the machine a power on. See what happens. That looks good. Well, it's booting. You can't even see it on the screen. <laughs> Let's just... Uh, Point the camera a bit closer. Link down. Link not ready. Right, I guess I need to plug this into a switch soon enough. Okay, so I plugged an ethernet cable in. You can see it says link up. I plugged it into the Realtek port. The Intel Gigabit network adapter is unplugged at the moment. All right, I didn't know OpenWRT could do this. Um, I plugged in the Dell USB keyboard just here. Pressed enter and that looks to me like OpenWRT has booted absolutely fine. So I think that's it. I've plugged it back in next to its own Ethernet port so this PC is now connected. I haven't powered it on. <laughs> Let's go and power it on. Okay, the device is powered on and in theory we should just be able to ping it and what I forgot is it's going to get assigned this IP address, dot .13, because that motherboard on that network port has a static address assigned to it, which I completely forgot about. So let's just see if that comes up. There it is, it's responding to pings. So in theory, we should just be able to configure it as normal. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Maybe I was too early. So we could try this. Oh dear. All right, I think I know what's happened. I was, 
I was going to say NAS, the router over there, I need to bring it back here, plug it into this VGA monitor and configure the interfaces over the command line properly. We're plugged back in. I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have a tripod, so please bear with me. If we just do the UC show network, this is basically the problem we're having. The LAN IP address, which it does recognize the adapter, which is awesome, um, is 192.168.1.1, and that is not going to work at all. So I need to configure that, and I can do that by UC set. That looks correct, doesn't it? Yeah. And then UC commit. And then I think I have to restart the firewall. I think that's going to work. So I'm just going to shut down the system, plug it all back in. All right, I've plugged the router back in. Let's start our ping command. Let's turn it on. Right, it's powered on. Let's wait for the pings. So there we've got responding to pings. So let's just do 100. There we go. And I already set the password off camera. Yes, there we go. That's the spec. There it is. It was a C, it was an Intel G3260 at 3.3 gigahertz. That's incredible. So we've got a x86 router based on OpenWRT with our two network interfaces. Let's have a look what they look like. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you had a good time. I enjoyed parts of it along the way. Some of it was a bit of a struggle, but we got there in the end. And I will see you in the next one.